Okay, let's look at the female sex act. So, same four phases as in the male. Again, the excitement, the plateau, orgasm, and resolution. The female sex act. Phase one, which is your excitement phase. During this phase, you have the typical, again, Increases in heart rate, BP, rate of respiration. And you also have basal congestion, blood flows into the genitalia. In fact, during this stage, the labia minora protrudes beyond the labia minora, majora. Okay, and, and in fact, the majority normally, normally flattens out and, and recedes back. Also here, something form is called the orgasmic plas platform forms. Orgasmic platform. Okay, here, I mean, the lower one third of the vaginal canal narrow around the penis, it gets more narrow, that's called the orgasmic platform. That forms in the excitement phase. And in the plateau phase, phase two, here you have what's called tentin, the uterus tense. So normally the uterus, you know, this is your bladder the uterus will sit on, on, on like this. That's the uterus sitting on, on the bladder. That drawing, by the way. But when it tends, it, it stands up this way. It's a very bad drawing, very bad drawing. But in the uterus, it stands up. It's called uterine tension. Okay, that happens during the plateau phase. Also here, the breasts become congested. So they become bigger, nipples become more erect. So breast congestion occurs here during the plateau phase. Then we get to the orgasm phase. Here in your orgasm phase. Here the pelvic thrust. This is an involuntary sensation of feeling like, like, like pelvic muscles are, are, are thrusting. So pelvic thrusting occurs there. Also, the orgasmic platform is about three to five contractions, okay? Three to five pulses, contractions here. And then the cervix pl plunges down in, into the vaginal canal. So cervix plunges downward into the vagina. Almost as if to just to, to submerge in the semen that's being released by the male at, at, at the moment. Here as well, the uterus contracts. And your sphincters, your anal and urethral sphincters pulse. You can feel them pulsing to close off those areas, okay? Anal sphincters and the original sphincters. So that, that's the orgasmic phase. And of course, what happens here, what happens here typically as well is tachycardia, your heart rate goes way up, tachycardia, as well as hyperventilation. You, you breathe quickly. Hyperventilation, let's say, okay. hyperventilation. And then we go into the last phase, which is the resolution phase. Phase four, resolution, okay? And in this phase, you have detrimescence. So blood drains from the breast, from the labia minora and majora. So the detrimescence is there, you know, and what else is happening back here? There? The orgasmic platform relaxes, it's no longer as narrow, it's relaxed now, 
okay? And also your uterus drops. So uterus, uterus, uterus returns back to its normal position on top of the bladder. And there is no refractory period. So unlike in the male who has to pause, there is no such occasion required for the female. There is no refractory period. You may go again into another orgasm very shortly afterwards. Okay, that's the female sex act. Pause, please.